All right, all right, all right. What's going on, guys? Uh, Big Rob back with another uh, beer review slash it's Friday, and I'm drinking beers, so I might as well review them, talk about them, do the deal. My reviews, this isn't like some sort of wine tasting deal. I swear it around and ooh, stare it up in the air and all that stuff. What I do is I crack this bad boy open. I tell you a little bit about it. I pour it into a nice glass. This is what I have on hand today. And uh, I tell you if I think it tastes any good. And uh, we just take her from there and I just kind of wing the bad boy. I already, had, I already did a couple reviews today, so I'm feeling real nice. It's Friday, you know. Um, so I figured, what the heck, I'm going to drink some beers. I might as well get on camera and review them. This one here is a, well, there we go. Innis and Gun. It's a Scottish fairy lad day. And it is a spiced rum aged porter. Now this says, first of all, this is a 7.4% alcohol. That's a doozy. Considering I've already had a few, this should be fun. Um, it says oak aged beer, rich Scottish beer, infused with whole dried aromatic spices. Fancy. Let me see. A creamy, full flavored beer with the perfect balance of hop bitterness and malt sweetness. Matured over golden rum infused oak. Hand-picked aromatic spices have been added to create a lasting, smooth vanilla finish. How about that? It's a great accompaniment to game meats. Well, we're not going to have any game meats here today. Uh, barbecue ribs. Don't cut them either. Just some barley and hops for me today. Uh, and dark chocolate desserts. Eww. I've never been one to do... Uh, Desserts with beer, to me, beer is a dessert. So much more than a breakfast drink. Let's pop the bad boy. Let's see what's happening with it, what it looks like. Screwed up my last pour, so let's see if I can... The last one had a lot more head than I thought it might. Okay, that's nice. We're getting that. There we go. We'll add a little more head to it. Tilt her just a little bit. Love me some porters, actually. You don't see much of them around. Um... Where I am, I'm in the east coast of Canada. Uh, you don't see a lot of porters. I wish I saw more. Uh, I see some stouts, which stouts originated from porter, but porter is just a nice, nice beer. There we go. Make sure the, the nostrils are clear. Get a little snifferoo. Got my nose in that one. Let's see if that gets some that. Did that say molasses? Because I'm saying, I'm seeing. Molasses. I'm smelling. I mean, I'm smelling mature gold rum, hand picked bitter. Nope, not seeing anything about molasses. Might be the vanilla. It has a nice odor to it. I can't quite peg it. I'm trying to see what's in the ingredients here. Um, a lot of porters, um, you can get a molasses smell out of them, um, but I'm not saying that they've uh, got any spiced rum aged. Must be the vanilla. It smells very nice. It's 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 unique. Got a nice head. Um, it's it's a dark beer, but it's clear. I can see the uh, light of the computer on the other side, the monitor. That's nice. Um, so not completely uh, black, so you can't see through it. Uh, definitely no sediment. Very clear in that regard. Here we go. Bottoms up. Cheers, to all my Scottish fellas. It's very nice. It's a uh, little sweet, not overly. I don't like real sweet beers, but definitely, definitely get a little sweet to it. But porters are, I find, sweet anyways. I, I'm catching the aromatic spices now. I can tell that there's been some uh, spices put in it. Um, for 7.4%, it doesn't go down like a 7.4%. You're not going, oh, gee, feeling that one. You're not doing that. <laughs> it goes down quite smooth so you can actually get in a lot of trouble with this bad boy because you can pound a couple of these back real quick and uh 7.4 percent will add up real quick like it's very tasty it, it definitely has a uh, a 
it's got it's got it's got a, it's got a lot of substance to it. You can uh, you can I'm still tasting it. Like after that golf, I'm still tasting, and and maybe this is the vanilla that I'm catching here, because it's definitely uh, golden rum infused oak. Maybe it's the rum in there. Like me some rum as well, pirate and all. Um, no, I don't think it's. I don't know what it what it is I'm catching, but it, it's 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 gonna eat, it's definitely very flavorful. It's not a, a dull beer. Um, it's not one that tastes like water by any means. She's got a lot of substance to it. Um, I, I would recommend. It. I would. Uh, you know, I'm doing these things uh, now, so I got to kind of do it out of ten. So let's go one out of ten. I'm gonna give this bad boy right now. I'm going to give these uh, fine Scottish folk a seven and a half. I'm giving them a seven and a half. It, it's pretty good. Um, would I drink a whole case of them, 12 of them? Ah, there's, there's a good chance I probably would. Um, but uh, this is more of a beer that I think you would sip and enjoy. Yeah, I don't really sip beers, but um, it is one that you would take your time and enjoy. It, it, it's very flavorful. So that's what I got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, by all means, hit me down below with, uh, you can ask me any question you like, uh, you know, whether I got the answer or not. Uh, I'll at least try to bullshit my way through it for you. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you've tried one of these before. My camera's coming in out of focus on what's going on there. Deal with it. It's okay. Have a beer. It's just some beer goggles. Um, Innis, where is it? There it is. Innis and Gun. Let's see if you can get a good look at that. Spiced rum. There you go. Spiced rum aged porter. I recommend it. Seven and a half from the Big Robster. That's it, guys. Cheers to you. Have a great Friday. I'm out of here.